Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so as I promised in the basic examples video, uh, in this video I present you with much more challenging problems. All right, uh, let's start with A. And in A, notice that the given uh, quotient can be rewritten this way, which is this here, what's given, can be written this way. And it's helpful to rewrite it this way because then you can see the numerator as being a difference of squares. And for some of you, it might be helpful to make a substitution for n factorial, say with x. So if you say n factorial is equal to x, then what I'm about to display in the next couple of steps might be easier for you to swallow. But anyway, um, I think, you know, as it is, it's um, fairly uh, straightforward to follow that this here is this, and then therefore the next step using one of my favorite things in the world, difference of squares, is going to look like this, which is in the numerator using difference of squares, we could write, um, n factorial squared minus 1 factorial squared as n factorial plus 1 times n factorial minus 1. And that's just using this here, right? Difference of squares. And then, of course, the denominator is n factorial plus 1. And um, so we cancel the n factorial plus 1 factor here uh, in the numerator with the n factorial plus 1 um, in the denominator. And then, of course, what we'll have left is um, just n factorial minus 1 in the numerator and then a 1 in the denominator, which we can write like this, yeah? All right, cool, cool, cool. I thought this was like a pretty nice little example. Um, and so let's move on to uh, b. And b is equally fun. All right, so in b, uh, this is what's given. And first, I claim you could rewrite it like this. Now, uh, before I talk about why you could rewrite it like this, uh, let me mention that like here, what would be wrong to do is to factor out a 2 from this 2n plus 2 factorial. 2n plus 2 factorial is not equal to 2 times n plus 1 factorial. It's not. However, 2n plus 2 factorial is equal to 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1, which is 1 less than 2n plus 2, right? And then times 2n factorial, right? So 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial is equal to 2n plus 2 factorial. But again, 2n plus 2 factorial is not equal to 2 times n plus 1 factorial. So although it's tempting, do not factor out a 2 from this. All right, all right, all right. Um, now then, um, everything else uh, from this given to this next step, I have kept the same. And it's pretty clear what we're going to do um, in the following step, which is now that we have a 2n factorial in the numerator, um, since we had a 2n factorial in the denominator, we're going to cancel them, right? And yeah, um, all right. Um, so doing that, we could show this as being um, what we get once we cancel, um, as we said we could cancel. All right, all right. Now, um, where to from here is the question. Well, um, I think we could do something about this n factorial squared and then the n plus 1 factorial squared, right? So if we work on those... Um, then, um, you know, first you would accidentally display uh, the same step twice. And then <laughs> next, um, next, you'd like take it away and then show the correct step. That would be this, right? And all I've done here it, from the previous step is like I've interpreted n factorial squared as being n factorial times n factorial, which it is, right? And then n plus 1 factorial squared is n plus 1 factorial times n plus 1 factorial. All right. And now, um, next, I think what we should do is rewrite n plus 1 factorial in terms of n factorial, the smaller factorial, um, the smaller factorial being n factorial when compared to n plus 1 factorial. And in fact, we're going to do, um, do it with both of the n plus 1 factorials in the denominator. And if we do that, then this first n plus 1 factorial is clearly equal to n plus 1 times n factorial, and likewise with this second n plus 1 factorial. And now we've got an n factorial here, an n factorial here, two of them in the denominator. We already had two of them in the numerator, so we cancel the 2 in the denominator with the 2 in the numerator to get this. And where to from here? Well, pretty clear. Here in the numerator, we can factor out a 2 and write 2 times n plus 1 in place of 2n plus 2. And so once we do that, then this is what we'd get. And obviously now we can cancel this n plus 1 in the numerator with one of the two n plus 1s in the denominator. 
And once we do that, the most simplified we can get it is this, which is exactly uh, where we needed to go, right? All right, okay, um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this. And uh, the next example or the next video is gonna be really, really fun. So um, check that out. Uh, but I thought this was fun also. All right, have a good day and take care.